couple of really exciting things to remind you of. First of all, I want to say Merry Christmas to our family online. Merry Christmas. We love you. We know you're part of us. And we're happy to be celebrating Jesus' birth with you. Okay, so don't forget, mark your calendars, Christmas Eve, 6 p.m., our candlelight service with communion and a little dramatic reading. It is a great kickoff for the Christmas season. Also, we are going to have in-person Christmas Day, 1030 here. We encourage everyone to come and celebrate the birth of Christ. And then also, it isn't stopping yet, we are going to ring in the new year together, get this, at 10 p.m. Everybody will be here. And then also, Pastor has the special vision for 2023. Is that not nuts? 2023? Hallelujah. God's always been very faithful to give him a great vision that we have focused on all year long. And funny enough, it just goes and goes and goes and we get blessed and they just add on to the next and add on to the next. Also, last, last, very important, we will not have Wednesday nights because we're going to be meeting together on Saturday nights until January 4th. So there'll be two Wednesday nights that we won't be here. So if you show up, we won't be here. <laughs> but we encourage you to be here on the Saturday nights as we celebrate Jesus' birth. Let's everybody just give God a great, grand uh, welcome. We love you, Jesus.
you, Lord. We're stirring it up, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah.
Well, everybody, look at We're not going to let the wet blanket of religion come on this place. So we're just traditionally, we're taught, oh, it's Christmas. We have to behave. Look at someone and say, uh-uh. Come on, look at somebody right now. I ain't behaving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You didn't behave when you went to the parties. Hallelujah. Now we're at a greater party, the party of the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want everybody in this place. Nikki, you ready? Freedom freedom. I am not allowing in Jesus' name the spirit of heaviness and confusion and depression. Let pastor give you a little. How many would like to save some money during Christmas? Let me see your hands. Pick a fight with all your relatives. Be real sorry about it on the 26th. I just saved you a lot of money. Hallelujah. God is in this place. He's bigger than any problem, any diagnosis, any situation, God is greater. And I, everybody here came in here with a few problems. Look at your mate. Everybody does. Everybody has, I'll, I'll just say it from the inner city, everybody has a situation. Now I want those from Fiji, those from the Philippines, those from India, uh, those from South America, stop complaining about the weather. I wanted to come to an end right now. Some of you, I can tell what nations you're from because you come in here. I, somebody from Calgary, tell them this ain't cold. Look at somebody say, this is a war. Someone just say, this is a t-shirt day. This isn't cold, baby. A few of you whiners, we're going to send you to the Arctic in February. Hallelujah. I talked to Pastor Tommy uh, yesterday, and he just we prayed together up in the Arctic. And he, I said, how is it up there? He said, oh, it's good. I said, well, it is, oh, it's good. We're, we're getting a little reprieve here. I said, wonderful. What is it? 30 below. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, everybody, you just tell Point to a door. Everybody point to a door. Sadness, depression, confusion, unbelief. You get out of here right now. You go to a religious church right now. Hallelujah. Churches want you to feel bad. Jesus wants you to be glad that your name is written in the book of life, that God has been good to you. He's taken all your sins and forgave you, everyone. Hallelujah. Let me look around here. Oh, there's some real sinners in this place. Hallelujah. My new favorite radio station, they tell you where the speed traps are. Oh, be careful on the Cambry Bridge, for there's radar there. Go, what? There are radio narcs. I mean, you don't know what it is. I just, I go, they tell you, oh, slow down here. Be real careful. There's three of them waiting for you. You know what God does? By the way, that's my favorite radio station. When Pastor Jody Ann's driving, I'm telling you, that's my favorite radio station. How many here do not want to make a ticket donation this year? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God has radar. 
And how many believe that you've went over the speed limit in life before? Let me see your hands right now. Hallelujah. And how many are grateful that he calls a mistrial on your life? A mistrial. Hallelujah. I want us to sing this song again, but I don't want to sing it religiously. I don't want to sing it to get through the service. Mr. Nelson, I want to sing it to Jesus. Just take a moment and just begin to tell him. Just, just tell him you love him. Just take a moment, tell Jesus. Freedom over the people right now. begin to thank him how good he's been to you how gracious he's been to you the times he intervened the, the times he set you free he lifted the depression hallelujah hallelujah have your way in this house have your way Jesus. oh yes over your life over your family over your emotions over your mind. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Your grace, your mercy is on this house. Hallelujah. There's freedom. Freedom, freedom, burdens lifted, hallelujah, burdens lifted, hallelujah, yes it does, yes it does. Give a shout to our God. Come on, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let the sweet wine of heaven fill your soul today. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. A couple of you, I've never seen you cleaned up before. It's really, it's really, really good. Well, we've got 60 people involved today, and they're going to reestablish this house was a tremendous dramatic house at one time and they're going to redig that well today it's going to be good hallelujah Jody Ann are the little ones going to do their thing today oh you're, you're saving you're going to see some future baby movie stars you will not believe it they're going to come and minister with diapers and all. Well, that's not the babies. <laughs> you can laugh in church, somebody lighten up. Lighten up. Hallelujah. We're going to honor Jesus with our tithes and our offerings today. And ushers, hand everybody an envelope. All those online, e-transfer, 3456 Fraser Street, right here in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. Or come on Fraser Street, and you can... Uh, Drop it in the church mailbox. <laughs> the world has not come to an end because it snowed. How many of you are not great drivers when it snows? Let me see your hands. Okay, let me just see your hands. I don't want to hurt your feelings. You weren't that good before. <laughs> come on, everybody. Get on. You always have to blame it on the snow. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Here's what the Bible says. Look at this scripture. Put it up. I gave you the scripture. A generous person will prosper. And your generosity, what it does, it waters you. I, ha I had the weirdest situation. I have a wonderful guy that helps put my clothes together because the face isn't real good, but we want the clothes to look good for television. We'll try that again. You can wake up. The face isn't real good, all right? But we want the clothes to look halfway decent because I represent the house of the Lord. 
And I, I slipped him some money in front of his boss. I just thanked him. He just works hard. He's a wonderful, wonderful man. And they said, oh, they can't accept it. They can't accept money for the employees. <laughs> but how many know I'm tricky? I said, how many know I'm tricky? If I can't give it that way, I'm going to give another way. All right? I'm going to give another way. And God says generous people. How many love generous people? I had a pastor friend that was such a cluck that, I mean, he wouldn't even give his bread. He didn't want the rest of his sandwich to ducks. I, and I thought, and he said, oh, Vince, you're just too generous. You're always being generous. Let me just tell you what's happened with the generosity that I've walked in. God used me to raise $100 million for the house of God. 100. Let me look around today. 101. Come on, somebody help me this place. Because it's just in my heart to be generous. I just love generosity. And, and you know, if you've got, you know, you're not supposed to talk about money on Christmas. Money, money, money. Here we go. If you've got a poverty spirit, you'll always be broke. Well, you know the economy. Well, it wouldn't hurt if you didn't eat for a few weeks. <laughs> My funny. How many of the Christmas season you feel like you're eating for December, January, February, and March? <laughs> Everybody in this church hands me this this tray and somehow in my mind there's 20 there and if I think I only eat five I won't gain weight somebody give me some wisdom Hallelujah. generosity God says he loves it and he said he'll prosper you prosper you. I don't want you to find out what food bank is giving fresh bread this week I don't want you to dip and be excited because they're giving baloney I want you to say, God, prosper me. So I'm going to help some of you right now. I'm going to help some of you right now. I taught my daughters this. I said, marry him ugly and rich. Marry him ugly and rich. Dad, marry him really ugly. Hunch on the back, drag a foot, but have them be rich, baby. And my youngest baby girl, she said this. She said, Dad, if he's that rich, we'll just do surgery on him. But how funny is that? How funny is that? A lot of you, your surgeries turned out really good. All right, let's stand together. Let's stand together. We can have fun. We can have fun. Hallelujah. I want you to say it out loud. I'm prosperous. Come on, say I'm prosperous. The Lord has prospered me. He has blessed me. I, 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 I'm prosperous when I go in this city. Come on, somebody. I, I'm prospered when I go to Chilliwack. I, I'm prosperous here and there and everywhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you want something real bad, just say not now if you don't have money, but you can have it in Jesus' name. I declare the blessing of the Lord to be on the beautiful people. I declare prosperity. Somebody wave at me right now. You're not going to work for fun. I pray for raises. I pray for open doors, opportunity, funding, and I thank you, God, that your people are not slaves in Egypt, but they are the redeemed of the Most High God. We give today in Jesus' name. And everybody said, amen, amen. Bear with us as we get the stage ready for our performance. You know, I'm really excited about the fact that Pastor said that um, that this is digging a well. 
I've gotten to work with have been a very amazing, and um, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Well, in cons considering our um, actors, could everybody turn their cell phones off? And lights, house lights, thank you. Good morning and welcome. If one would be so bold as to take a peek into the average home during December, we might witness them decorating their Christmas tree, carefully unpackaging tattered boxes that have held family Christmas treasures. Tenderly and gingerly, these ornaments of the past wrapped in tissue paper. Lovingly saved for that special time of the year when each ornament is placed on the bough of the Christmas tree. May we present to you a meaningful Christmas. excited. Decorating for Christmas is my favorite tradition of the season. Me, me too. Honey, can you put that over there for a bit? Okay, okay. Kids, huh. where are you guys? Ooh, it's time to decorate the Christmas tree. Hey, go on. Go on. Come on. Ooh, go. Can, can you, there, go you got this one. Again. Hold on, hold on. Yes, right here, right here. Hey, nice Guys, shot. Guys, come on, please. <laughs> Sorry, let's make dear. This. Sorry. Oh, what's inside here? All right, let's get these on the. <gasps> Emiliano, um, look, it's you. Now, this is not oh. me. Yeah. So, <laughs> if, I, if I am this, you're mm -hmm. this. Can't be. Yeah. What's all this? Why'd you put okay. it over there? Put it lower. Okay. But I wonder there. No, you're not supposed to put it there. It looks better over there. Oh. And look, it's my. It's my snowman from a long time ago. It's ten times way better than yours. Let's listen to some Christmas music. You can be put in the mood of decorating. Great idea. I'll turn on the radio. Did you guys? 
guys know that this is written several years ago with many different nations. What we sing is actually the 19th century version, but it's actually written in the 18th century. Guys, let's decorate the Christmas tree. It's their fault, not mine. They started it. Uh, honey, can you please help start. me? Emiliano, Emiliano, come here. What? Can you help me? Can you yeah. put this I need one help. I got thing there. And this one. And this Sorry, one. Sorry, did I decorate you? Yeah. Please so one. much work. I'm tired. <laughs> You're always tired. No, I'm not. Something I'm hungry. <laughs> You're always hungry. Always hungry. Well, I'm sure we'll have something to eat after we decorate this tree. Hmm. No, I'm sure this year's tree will be extra special, right, dear? Yes, actually, I forgot. I have something very special cooking in the oven. It should be finished after we decorate the Christmas tree. The air smells wonderful. Come on, it'll be fun to decorate the tree. I don't know, all this work for just one day? I was thinking about it and I think we go over for Christmas. All this work, all this stuff. Don't say that, Mom. Isn't it because Christmas is important? You bet it's important. It's tradition. Tradition? Yes. Huh. Traditions form the basis and structure of our society. The very foundation of everything we do it reminds us of God's, our place in God's world. Also, it's very important. What do you mean, Mom? Because that's the time that the child born Jesus Christ is born in the manger. And then mm. afterwards, it is him giving up his life so that we could be with him in heaven. Exactly. Oh, yeah, right. That's a very reason, good reason to celebrate Christmas. <laughs> For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. And he should be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Christmas wouldn't be Christmas, not unless we visit with another family. The first family of Christmas, the beginning of Christmas. As they basked in the glory of the birth of God's beautiful Son, they couldn't have known that the whole sky would be split wide open with the heavenly host singing praise, glory, and honor, giving praise for the birth of God's only Son. The shepherds said to one another, let us go now unto Bethlehem and see this strange thing 
that God has made known unto us. And so the shepherds, they left their flocks with the hirelings. And then they started to cross rocky hills, the moors, and even the plains. Eventually, they made their way through the quiet streets of Bethlehem. Upon arriving, they saw Joseph, Mary, and the baby Jesus wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Was an order. Was an order, and I. France and I were watching a sheep. Suddenly, the angel of the Lord appeared to us. He said, "Do not be afraid. For behold, that is a great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day, the city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you." Find a babe, wrapped in a swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Go to the heavenly host, praising God and say, Lord of God the highest, and on earth, goodwill. To touch their harps of gold, peace on the earth, goodwill to men from heaven's all glorious king. The world in silent stillness lay to hear the angels sing. The star was a heavenly sign of prophecy fulfilled long ago. The star led the wise men to find the baby Jesus. They traveled many miles through scorching deserts, through raging waters, and even hostile lands. Following a star in the sky. The star was their guiding light to the Savior. You could say that God was a wise man's travel agent, leading them to the greatest destination known to all mankind, the Savior of the world. The star that they had seen in the east went before them. They slowly made their way, coming here to view and look, worship. These wise men, they were brave, they were many, they were strong.
after Jesus was born of Bethlehem, my fellow scholars and I came from the east to Jerusalem, saying, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and we have come in search of him. King Herod has sent us to look for the young child. When we seen his star, it went before us and came to rest above where the young boy lay. When we seen the star, we rejoiced, and when we seen the baby wrapped in his mother's arms, we fell before him and worshipped him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. <laughs> Do you know why, you like, why I like to decorate the Christmas tree? Because it smells so good. <laughs> you know why? Because a Christmas tree is actually an evergreen tree. It's always green. Oh, I love that shoe. Those are yours? They smell so bad. Man. What happened? Guys, don't hey, explain neighbor, what the Christmas neighbor, tree is. Can you get the shoe for me, please? Yeah, you, right there. Yeah, that one. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Yes, Thank you! Yes! <laughs> like what I'm saying, the Christmas tree is always green. That's because it represents new life. And that's why the needles are pointing up, because they point heavenwards. 
just like our relationship with Jesus Christ. We should always be like an evergreen tree, always full of life, never becoming dormant in our life with Jesus Christ as we lift our arms high heavenward. Emiliano, look! I found the candy cane! Hey, oh, no, please, no, 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 They wouldn't meet Christmas without candy canes. <laughs> Turn upside down the candy cane makes a J for Jesus who was born on Christmas Day. Turn it upright like a good shepherd staff who pleads to the Father on your behalf. At the top, you'll see the saving crook used on the lost sheep he never forsook. The stripes whisper softly, by his stripes we are healed. The peppermint oil, the peppermint oil and the red represents the blood that was spilled the white gives us hope to become pure as he by forsaking our sins, white as no they will be. The peppermint oil flavors this treat. It's known for its strong healing properties. Now each time you see a striped candy cane, remember dear child, he knows your name. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. this is good. Let's get the candy canes on the tree. Mm -hmm. Where else can I see? Pass me the rest of the candy canes. Mm. What else do we need? I know, she's right. Oh, let's fix the box so then we can put them on the Christmas tree. Okay. Okay. Should always almost done, right? Yes. Yeah. I think. Mm. I think we need more on this side. Uh, Why is there a shoe there? Shoes that? Oh, well, doesn't mind. You know. Got my slippers now. Again. I'm uh, sorry. Gonna bother you again. My shoe. You know. Thanks, neighbor. I'll have you over next year. Okay. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. wait. Pass me that. Um. Wait. Here? Pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Obviously, my ornaments are better than Emiliano. Hold on, hold on. Breeze? It's perfect. Yes! All right, all right. Photo time. Okay, wait, 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 honey, honey. Can we have a picture first? Okay. Where are you? Oh, okay. Let's see ready? Ready, ready, ready? Okay, wait, wait. What? Uh, where's my phone? Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Time. Uh, Ooh, just give me a move. Second. I need more room. Stop. No messages. Come on. Hey, you're on hey, the hey, hey, hey. You're on the court. Stop. All right. Stop. Ready, 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 ready. Hold on. One, two, three. I can't no, see. Can. Uh, Miliano, <laughs> you're stepping on my um, toe. Sorry. Hold on. I need a light. Wait, let me see. I light. have a light in here somewhere. Emiliano, you're dropping so much stuff. Here, Stop here, being honey. so clumsy. Oh, thank you. There's my phone. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's everybody? Let me, wait, wait, wait. Uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, guess I'll fix the fuse again. <laughs> um, where are we? Okay. Um, you know, just as Christmas ornaments come in different shapes and sizes, so does God's blessings to us. God picks and chooses each blessing and then he brings them to us at just the right time.
Next time that you start to put a decoration on your Christmas tree, baubles and bangles and stuff like that, you know, start to think about the many blessings that God has given to you, not only just today or throughout the year for that matter, but for the whole of your life. His blessings have been many. So as you start to put your decorations on the Christmas tree, think about the many blessings that God has given to you. I think that you will find out that you will run out of ornaments before you run out of God's blessings. Let's, let's take a seat while your dad okay. fix that light box again. It's like the fifth time this year. He always does this. Yes. yes. Oh, didn't you tell me you guys like learned the new Christmas scary stories at your school? Yeah. I actually want to know what you made up. Um, Kayla, told, Kayla told me that she know one there is. Yeah, but like, I don't know. It's so dark that like, there's no light in the story, you know? Well, I know a story that has a light in it. So in a dark room, when it's super dark, Christmas lights actually dispels the darkness, just like how Jesus is the light of the world. Just like us. We're also light in this dark world and we should share that light, okay? <laughs> Just like in the Bible, it says, you are the light of the world, a city set on a hill, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket. I think I got it. Yes! Oh, <gasps> there you go, okay, yeah. good, right. good. Oh, no. All right. Oh, hey, hey. <gasps> Look who I found knocking at the door. Hi. 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 Hello. Oh, hi, Trevor. How are you? Hello. Mm. Whoever's cooking sure smells delicious. Oh, I totally forgot the food. Everybody, freeze. I forgot the cake. I'm going to get it. Okay, move. Move, 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 move. A bit of freeze. Okay. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Do you want to get the candy cane? Sure. No, we're going to light it there. So what do you think? Look at this tree. Okay, guys. Look, let's put it in the yellow. Can I not me? That is you, though. <gasps> Look, the candy, can you help Kate, me? Kate. Give her a hand. Let's give her a hand. Oh, right, watch the icing. Watch the icing. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Let's light it. Sure.
introduced you to the Almighty God. You see, he came as a miracle. He went to heaven in a miracle. And when he walked through the earth, he touched everyone with a miracle. This same Savior that we celebrated his birth today is still doing miracles. And thank you. And it is our sincere hope that this Christmas holiday you feel the miracle of Jesus' birth. Thank you for the beautiful flowers. Thank you for coming. And now I'd like to introduce our pastor, Pastor Vince Schott. I'm going to have the worship team come. If all the worship team would come, Pastor David and everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. We are so proud of all of you that... Uh, gave to the Lord your time and your effort. We've only just begun. We've just, just begun. Stand up with me if you would. Tell three people Merry Christmas. Come on, tell somebody Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It is. And from Pastor Jody Ann and myself, we just wish each of you a a very, very Merry Christmas and our family online. Stay standing. Mr. Nelson, if you would just play for a second, whatever's on your heart, just be with me for a second. Luke chapter 2 and verse 11. Today in the town of David, a Savior has born to you, and he is the Messiah. Jesus is the Messiah. A meaningful Christmas, I would be amiss if I just didn't take one moment. A real meaningful, the greatest gift of all. Now. In our marriage, we've been married 43 years, and we have a tradition. The five days before Christmas, every day after Christmas, I give Pastor Jody Ann a gift. And she, when the kids all moved out, hallelujah, I started this tradition, gift after gift after gift. And one day I was really busy, it was two days before Christmas, and here's what she did. Gift, come on somebody help me. Gift, hallelujah. And she's delighted with the gifts. How many bought something very special for someone? Let me see your hands. A lot of tight wads of glad tidings. How many bought something you're excited to give to the one you love? Let me see your hand, you got something you're excited to get. The greatest gift, the meaning of Christmas, is that God so loved you. He loved you. He knew 
that our sin, we've all sinned, would separate us from God for all eternity. So Christmas, he sent his only begotten son, Jesus, the Messiah. And the Bible says, Luke chapter 2, it says he's been given unto you. It's not joining a church. It's not going through a catechism. It's not a philosophy. It's God himself giving his son to you. This is the meaning. And today you can have the most meaningful Christmas of your life. Well, Pastor, I, 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 I've got problems. This whole church has problems. My lawyer's son called me and said, Dad, you're so fortunate that people won't stop sinning. I said, what are you talking about? He said, Dad, their sin keeps you in business. <laughs> Pretty funny. He's got a screw loose, but I love him. He's my son, all right? Every one of us have sinned. Every one of us have regrets. Every one of us say to ourselves, what I could have been, what I should have been. And we live in a mire of our own personal failures. And God saw that. And here's what he said, I so love you. I so love you. I'm not gonna let you, allow you to live in guilt and shame, condemnation and hopelessness. And the great exchange took place. God gave his son, and today you can exchange your sin for it. You can turn all your shame, all your guilt, everything you've done wrong, and say, God, this is what I give to you. I give you my sin. I give you my failure. And God says to you, I give you my son. And you are completely forgiven. Raising our kids, you kind of have to have a good cop and a bad cop. Just raising kids. You want them at times to wake up in the might of, of the fear of what you might do to them. I'm helping you raise kids right now. And I was the good cop. I was the one that would say to the children, oh, I know deep and deep in your heart. I know you didn't want to do that. Jody Ann would say, I don't care about the deepness of your heart. Don't do it again. I came home late, and our oldest daughter, her name, I don't know her real name, is I call her Boo Boo the Bear, Boo Boo the Bear, Boo Boo the Dancing Bear, that was her name. I think it's Brittany. And I got home about 11 o'clock, and she was about five years old, demon-possessed, all day long, just demon-possessed little white face with little strawberry blonde hair and I walking down the hallway she goes dad I knew it was a guilt dad dad I said is that you boo now who else would be in a room she's it's me dad your favorite And I knelt down by her little bed, and began to stroke her head. I said, I love you, Brittany. She said, Dad, can I ask you a few questions? Yeah. Do you love me when I'm good? I said, oh, boo, oh, boo. You're Booby the Bear, Booby the Bear. Do it with me, Booby the Dancing Bear. Daddy loves you when you're good. Dad, can I ask you one more question? I said, yes. Do you love me as much when I'm bad? Knowing that her mother had called the church three times asking for the deliverance team to run over to her house to deliver my genetics from this child. And I said to her with all of my heart, I love you just as much when you're bad or good because you're my girl. And dad's love will never turn away from you. I want to say this to you, naughty or nice. We'll try it again.
naughty or nice. God's love will never turn from you. Never, ever. Jody Ann sent our daughter-in-law a text with a little picture. And it was a little redhead girl standing in front of Santa Claus. And Santa Claus said, were you good this year? And the little girl said, pretty good. You know I'm a redhead. <laughs> pretty good. You know, I, I have him good all the time. How about you? My attitudes haven't been the best. But God looks at me. He spoke to me deeply and he said, I don't care if you preach good or bad, son, I love you. I was like, wow. I don't know how to preach bad. Lean in. Come on, somebody help me out right now. Give me a Christmas gift. Someone just yell at me, preach it, preach it, son. I said, preach it, boy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, let's have a meaningful Christmas. Let's ask Jesus to forgive us. That's what God did. He sent his son to forgive. Let's let Jesus forgive us. You got to tap into it. You got to say to Jesus, I need forgiveness. I, I, I just need forgiveness, God. I, I, you know, I, the reason I did it, it was because I was born to this family and this happened to me and my husband and that and this, you know, whatever. Why don't you just say, forgive me, Jesus. Is there somebody here today that would like to say to Jesus, I just want to be forgiven. Is there anybody here? Lift your hand. If there's somebody here, just say, I just like to be forgiven. God, I'm not going to give you a story and a song how good I'm going to be. But I'm going to receive your goodness. Let me just help you with a little sanctification. A little sanctification. When God's good to you, you want to please him. You want to please God. When God forgives you, you want to serve him. I'm not going to ask you to join the church today. I'm not going to ask you to make promises that you will break. I'm going to tell you to open the gift of Jesus Christ. Open your heart. Hallelujah. You don't have to be in church with a bow tie. You don't have to be all cleaned up. You have to come to him and say, forgive me. Forgive me. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter what your background is, what you've done. God forgives. Today, if you want forgiveness, every head bowed, every heart open in the name of Jesus, every head bowed. If you come today and you would say, Pastor, I believe that Jesus is the Messiah. He's God's gift. And today, I want Jesus to be my Lord. I want Jesus to be my King. I believe that he's the Messiah. And I want to serve Jesus from this day forward. Lord, forgive me. Come on, everybody, say it. Lord, forgive me. Thank you for your love for me. Thank you for dying for me. Thank you for raising from the dead for me. And thank you, you're coming back for me. And thank you, I get to go to heaven. Jesus, be my Lord. With every head bowed, every heart open, you prayed that and you meant it. Lift your hand up. Just lift it all through this place. Wonderful. Hallelujah. You prayed that and you meant it. Lift your hand up. Don't be ashamed. Lift it up. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. You can put your hands down. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. I said, praise the Lord, everybody. God is good, isn't he? I said, God is good. Woo. What a wonderful. Thank you, Pastor Jody Ann. I'm looking forward to seeing you again this week. <laughs> I, I, I didn't see her all week. This is a good side to it, but we'll share that some other time. She was with you day and, day and night. Um, the Christmas cookies, since we're confessing, that you made for Christmas since you were gone. Come on, men, don't have me stand here all by myself. Hallelujah. I shared it with some people. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, this is a wonderful day. And I want to thank Elaine. Thank you. Eunice. Great job. And everybody. My favorite, Mr. I call him Mr. Nelson. Mr. Nelson's here playing the organ in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. And you're here. Give each other a hand. Come on, everybody. And most of all, Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lord is here. This week will be an exceptional week. First of all, I, I made an executive decision. I don't want you at church every single night. So for two weeks, we won't have a, a, a Wednesday night service where I'm preaching. I want open weeping right now. I want open weeping. Open weeping. Hallelujah. Next Saturday, Christmas Eve at 6 o'clock, very special. Very, very special. We're going to have a candlelight communion service. My wife is a professional actress, and she's going to give a dramatic presentation that's over the top. Eyes have seen it all over the world, so she's going to do that. We'll do our best to stay about an hour. Kids will be with us in here. Hallelujah. And it can snow. How many believe snow belongs in Alberta? Come on, everybody. In the Arctic and in the mountains. I saw people just emailing, oh, we'll watch it online, we'll do this, we'll do that. It's the end of the world. But the snow, I want to say this to you, where? Where? And then next Sunday, we're going to have a full-on service. We're just coming to have... Look at somebody say, 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 say it. Say, we're going to have church. Come on, Simon, just say it right. Say, we're going to have church. Uh, 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 pastor is going to, uh, uh, Todd, I shouldn't do this to you right now, but I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to preach, and we'll have a little organ next Sunday. There'll be a little, just do a little run, just, blah, 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 just for one second. Oh, come on, somebody. You can feel it. Oh, I, I, I might change my mind, not wrap this up. Come on, it, hit me a little more. Oh, give me a Christmas gift. Say, preach it, preacher. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Next week, we'll have full on. And then, come here, love. And all the kids are going to have a full on birthday party with games, cake, and all kinds of prizes and fun for um, Jesus next Sunday. So we'll have a big birthday party. Happy birthday, Jesus. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then on... New Year's Eve. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah. yeah. New Year's Eve, we're going to party at Glad Tidings. We are going to have the party of parties. We'll start at 10 o'clock. We'll go to midnight. And it's going to be a tremendous, tremendous time. And I will bring the vision for the house. And it won't be some little word. It's the word of the Lord over this house. How many want to hear the word of the Lord for the house? Wow. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, Lauren, I'm going to make a little bit. Where's Lorna? She, she went to what? Or she went to have a cigarette? I can't hear you. I don't know. <laughs> I got to tease her a little bit. We haven't done that a long time. How, how many love to throw people under the bus? Oh, it is so good. Hallelujah. I could not see Lorna smoking. I couldn't. Chewing, yes. Smoking, no. Oh, they prepared a wonderful, wonderful meeting. Hallelujah. Well, we're going to close. I just, I so enjoyed this. Thank you, everybody. I just so enjoyed it. So enjoyed it. So enjoy every one of you. I appreciate you. I respect you. I love this house. I'm so grateful that God took me out of the rest home. Hallelujah. We were going to retire, but instead we came to Glad Tidings and we refired. Hallelujah. 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 I took my cane and threw it away and I said, not now. Hallelujah. I've got some preaching and prophesying to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think I got about 10 more years of dancing me. Hallelujah. Jumping me. Hallelujah. Shouting me. Hallelujah. About 10 more years of hallelujah. 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 I am not going to let religion hit this place. Somebody shout to God. Come on, shout to the Lord your God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Well, we'll close with a worship song. We'll celebrate. We're going to to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Planted in the house of the Lord, you'll flourish in the courts of our God. Stirring up deep, deep wells. Stirring up deep, deep waters. We're going to dance in.